Run! Run! Run, you cowards! Run, you cowards! Go far! Run, you cops! Run, you cops! Allah, Akbar! MashaAllah! But you know what? They got their comeuppance and for such fat ducks they didn't have, have to waddle away very quickly when the youth, the young Muslims in Haro began to chase them. Keep running lads. To these young angry Muslims, we know you're angry. You are right to be angry. Islam would go on to become the largest and fastest growing religion in the world. When Al-Aqsa, from which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to heaven. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to heaven. The place where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven from the roof of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, including the very mosque Al-Aqsa, uh, from which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to heaven. On the birthday of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Man. On the birthday of the Prophet, peace be upon him. By the grace of God, on the 9th of March, on the birthday of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Uh, the holy month of Ramadan is almost upon us. We will all be fasting for a longer day than normal in this country, in Britain. Inshallah, and at the hands of the resistance, and on this, the last day of the holy month of Ramadan. But I would be lying to you during Ramadan, which would be a very wrong thing to do. Somebody asked me on Hard Talk the other day, you proud to be British. It's an accident that I was born in Britain. Uh, Obama is not going to do anything for the Muslim world. Well, uh, we're in trouble then, if that's uh, true. But I, I don't drink. I don't gamble. Just one question I want to ask you, George. Are you practicing Islam or are you a Muslim? Uh, but wh why would that be any of your business? No, 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 it's not my business. It's, I well, and if it's not your business, why are you calling up the show and uh, asking uh, about it? Don't you dare tell me what I purport to be. You're not the judge of my religious beliefs. So what are you then? It's none of your business. It's none of your business. It's God's business. You've now go ahead. You have said before in my go life, ahead. Go ahead. The religion he belongs to. Because I do what's a regular program. What you believe, the religion you believe. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure uh, what business that is uh, of yours. Just know that I believe in God and that there's only one God, and no God but God. Thank you very much indeed. Because as I alluded to earlier, <clears throat> arranged marriages are actually much more successful marriages than the marriages in the non-arranged field. Trust me, I know about that. Uh, the um, rate of divorce and family breakdown in the non-Muslim part of the population is now epidemic proportions with consequences to be seen on every street corner in the youth uh, running wild. Um, arranged marriages <coughs> where the parents take uh, a leading role can be uh, described as forced, especially after the event, uh, by someone quite unfairly. To greet Saddam Hussein in 1994 in Iraq and to salute him for his courage That's and his indefatigability. You're lying again. His, uh, your nose is growing. He went, he went. Sir, I salute your courage, your strength, your indefatigability. I can honestly tell you that there was not a single person to whom I told I was coming to Iraq and hoping to meet with yourself who did not wish me to convey their heartfelt fraternal greetings and support. We are very proud 
indeed of this magnificent welcome given to us by the people of Saddam City, Baghdad. Your Excellency. Very nice to see you again. How are you? You seem very, in very good health. I lost weight. I'm very happy about it. Yes, I see that you lost some weight. So Uday was renowned for his brutality and is believed to have personally tortured thousands of people. I would like you to know that we are, we are with you till the end. Describe your relationship with Tariq Aziz. Friendly. How often did you uh, meet him? Many times. Do you have, can you give an estimate of that? No, many times. Uh, is it uh, uh, more than, many more, times more than five? Yes, yes. More than ten? Yes. Is it like fifteen? Around fifteen? Well, we're getting nearer, but I, I haven't ever counted it. But many times. I'm, and you have saying, I'm saying to you many times. Yes. And I'm saying to you I was friendly with him. Okay. Saddam Hussein will live in history long after these dogs are writing the names of their cities and towns and the stars. وقراهم على النجوم. فنحن بحاجة إلى كلاشينكوف. Galloway is a Nazi. He is a left-wing Nazi. Most Nazis in our day are left-wing. First of all, Nazism is actually left-wing. It's National Socialism, despite the fact that everybody says it's right-wing. It isn't right-wing. Fascists and Nazis are socialists. They believe in government control. That's left-wing. And Galloway is a left, is a true left-wing Nazi, possibly even a secret Muslim. Now you may say, well, a secret Muslim? What are you talking about? Yeah, what is this, a conspiracy theory? First of all, let's understand, this guy married two Arab women already. He's already married two, his latest two wives. He's been married three times. His two latest wives are both Arab wives. Why is he marrying Arab women? That's number one. Number two, he, he announced publicly, all of a sudden he announced publicly he doesn't drink alcohol. He thinks it's bad to drink alcohol. What is this with him not drinking alcohol? And he made excuses for it. He said, well, my father didn't drink and my grandfather didn't drink. You know, he's making excuses like to cover his tracks. Muslims are not allowed to drink alcohol. Very interesting that he had to, he specifically had to make public statements and try to justify why he will not drink any alcohol. What did he have to even talk about it for? That's the second thing. He married two Arab women, doesn't drink any alcohol, and, had, and made a big deal over it as if he's trying to, you know, as if the lady protesteth too much. And then the third interesting thing, he completely, fanatically supports the Muslim terrorists, supports Hamas and Hezbollah. He said that Hezbollah is not a terrorist organization and never was. And, you know, something else interesting, by the way, of course he supports the destruction of, of Israel naturally. And you know something interesting, something else interesting about this animal, who again is a member of the British Parliament, perfectly respected member of the British Parliament, a supporter of Islamic terrorism, marries only Arab women now, completely supports Hezbollah and Hamas, openly calls for the destruction of Israel. So it's interesting the Canadian of some, you know, the Canadian government banned him. By the way. George Galloway, if you're listening, okay, you were banned from Canada. Don't worry about it. Just go to Israel. Israel will accept you with open arms. Shimon Perez will greet you at the airport. You can go to Israel. They don't have any problem. They have, they, you know, mass murderers of Jews they greet. So, uh, you know, that's one country you could go to. Canada gave you a problem. Israel won't. Go to Israel. 